Welcome. If you're new via here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. The topics that we'll be discussing today, two women found dead, Richie and two others killed, plus how set ablaze, man shot in Coronation Market and more. A team of officers were gathered at the Coronation Market to downtown Kingston where a man was attacked and shot by gunmen on Saturday. Reports are that about 1.45 p.m. persons were doing business in the popular facility when they heard multiple gunshots. Sources reported that a few minutes after the shooting, a man wearing a red shirt and a white jeans were seen suffering from gunshot wounds. Reports are that the police later arrived and persons at the location were seen placing the injured man on a cart and rushing him out of the market. He was later placed in the back of a police vehicle and rushed to the hospital. The status of his condition is not known at this time. Two females were killed or found dead in brutal circumstances in St. Anne on Thursday of this week. In the first case, 54-year-old Justina Atkinson Price, a farmer of Fort George District in the parish, was found dead at her home. Reports from the Clement Police are that about 7.15 a.m., a resident made checks on Atkinson Price after family members were unable to reach her. Her body was discovered in her house and the police were informed. On the arrival of the law enforcers, she was observed and her throat was slashed. The scene was processed and the body was removed to the mark. Investigations are ongoing into the development. 24-year-old Shanika Ains, otherwise called Shan, a bartender of Lewis District in St. Anne, was shot and killed by unknown men at her home also on Thursday. Reports from the St. Anne Bay Police are that about 9.20 p.m. Ains and other family members were at home when our men gained entry to her house and opened gunfire eating her before making their escape. The police were informed and on their arrival, Ains was seen with multiple gunshot wounds. She was taken to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. Investigations are also ongoing into the incident. Two persons were killed during an early morning attack in Papine, St. Andrew on Saturday. The perpetrator also set fire to a residence before making their escape. Reports from the police sources are that gunmen invaded Mudtown community, killing two men at about 7 a.m. before setting their dwelling on fire. Viewers and subscribers, the police are yet to release the identity of the two men who were killed in Mudtown, but words in the street is that one of them goes by the name of Rasta. Further reports suggested that a some turf war are gone over who should be the leader of the community. A police corporal was granted bail Friday when he appeared before the St. Catherine Parish Court to answer to murder charge. Corporal Damon Stewart was charged in relation to a double fatal shooting of O'Neill Johnson and Ricardo Stewart on March 5, 2018 at the Real Deal Car Wash in Spanish Town, St. Catherine. The charge was laid against the cop following an investigation by Independent Commission of Investigations and the ruling of the Office of the Director of Public Persecutions. The police reported that a team of five officers were on mobile patrol along the Spanish Town bypass when men alighted from two vehicles and opened gunfire at the police team. The police alleged that in response, they fired in the direction of the men. After the exchange, two men were found suffering from gunshot wounds. Alleged eyewitnesses have refuted the police accounts of the incident. Corporal Stewart was granted bail in a sum of 500000 Now people, if we should have sit down and have a conversation about this incident, we can honestly say some of these police officers use their uniform as excuses why they should do things to people and not only that some of them have personal beef with people and them just wait until them in a them uniform them do what them actually want to do them call them friend them have a round table talk with them friend and make them friend know say no say this or this and that or that and then the whole of them go and attack the people them and if we should be honest, we can actually say a lot of cases like these just sweep underneath the carpet simply because them in them uniform and them have a good alibi to get out of the situation. Meanwhile, on the other hand, you have some residents who know say certain man or woman in them community involved in criminal activities and when the police them come trying to arrest them, them resist the arrest 
things escalate or them even try to arm the police officer in the process and things escalate and the police officer probably take them three points or maybe them beat them carry them up at the station go lock them up and you have these set of people who know within themselves say you know say him bad and him involved in that and him involved in that come out and them cry living your water and say them innocent knowing deep down that them heart say the person is not innocent so police officers who are innocent get caught in the trap just the same so viewers and subscribers i am saying all of this to say that if the police officer is wrong i just hope these two young men family get the justice that they deserve a man who goes by the name of richie was reportedly shot and killed on friday in narwood montego bay the reason for this attack is currently unclear at this time a picture of this incident is also available so if you're interested in seeing it all you have to do are run down in the description of this video where you'll see a link to the chop city telegram group just click the link you automatically join the group and it will be there waiting on you if you're interested for see the image but you don't know how to go down in the description just run on over to our instagram page at chop city tv that is c h o p c i t y underscore tv interest you yeah, follow the page send me a message asking for the link and it will be provided to you as soon as possible now viewers and subscribers as we all should know we have a few nurses that pass over the couple of days in relation to the virus that we are trying to get under control now the husband of one of those nurses have something to say i feel like a fish out of water i feel like the system i feel like the whole system had failed i think that if, if, if there was um the, 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 the high flow the oxygen was there at least i believe that it would give her a better fighting chance I, I personally feel that the, 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 the system failed miserably. The system failed. Uh, it would have been better if she had gotten that until and there was nothing else. But to know that the bulk ox there was no bulk oxygen to run the high flow machine and she had was to come off of it. I feel like the system had completely failed me and I feel a sense of emptiness, a sense of hopelessness. When she asks me that baby, when the bulk oxygen is gonna come, when, when it's gonna come. People, I hear your time now. I would love to hear what are your thoughts on all these stories down in the comment section. And remember, everybody's opinion is valid. So nobody afraid for leave your thoughts down there. We have made it to the end of our next video. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. I'm out and stay blessed and stay safe.